Just give me a little bit of peace. Yeah. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Yeah. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit Did someone teach you how to pop or was it just did you kind of just go for yourself or do you have someone you could say you know what this dude taught me like i think uh, um, yeah I, I think cool boy said ak king was the one that really put him on game yeah no uh i went to school with tick a lot okay how would we know tick a lot i know the name you know the, uh you know the name tick a lot mm-hmm. tick a lot dope he used to he used to pop lock for compton high band okay he used to be in the front of the band like the um uh, the drum major, but he was pop lock. Gotcha. He had the whole outfit on of the school. And I used to watch him every day. I used to watch take a lot every day and, and just learn stuff from him. Learn how to pop. And, um, yeah, from my two year, cause he graduated. He's older, but yeah, take a lot was, Tick a lot and my uh, his partner, John John. Okay. Rest in peace. He 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 was with Tick a lot back then. And he used to be at my house. He used to be at my house every day with my brother. And John yeah, I used to come over there and teach me how to wave. And yeah, that's when I got started. Okay. Now once again, you know, it was called street dancing back then from what I understand. And, um, it was introduced to the main screen. Uh, I think, uh, breaking and entering was one of the first movies to actually put, you know, popping and breaking or whatnot on the main screen. I could be wrong. Correct me if I am. Um, but w- when you first started seeing these movies like breaking and mm. street and stuff like that pop up, and this is something that I'm assuming you were doing, you know, you were doing your thing. And how did it make you feel when you're like, damn, I'm watching this on the big screen now. Okay, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest Mm -hmm. with you. Uh, That movie, it wasn't the real deal. Corny. It was corny. Yeah, I've heard that a lot. I like Boogaloo Shrimp. Everybody, Pop and Taco, all of them can dance. The way they wrote that movie and directed that movie was horrible. They didn't do it right. They didn't do it right. We didn't wear chains and, and, and spikes and all that stuff. That's what, yeah, we didn't wear that. When we were popping, we wore golf hats, hair nets, khakis, you know. Like gangsters, kind of. Yeah, uh-huh. well, they were gangsters. Oh, okay. Everybody that pop locked back then oh, I didn't know were that. gang members. Explain that, okay. Okay. Yeah. Everybody... When it first started, I'm not talking 83, when the movie came out, uh-huh. 83, whatever. Before that, I say from 70, 79 to 82, 79 to 82 is when all the gang members were popping first. They were the first to do it. Uh. They were either pop locking. It wasn't like it is now or in that movie. You know how they battle like that yeah. against each other. It wasn't like that. They just went out and got off, mm. you know, and you can get killed while you're doing it uh. because they were gang banging. So you couldn't get up in nobody's face and, you know, grab them and touch them. Uh-huh. You wouldn't, you wouldn't leave. Yeah. See, this yeah. is the real shit right here. This is what I they yeah. need to hear. Yeah. Most of the, the ones I learned from, are, are gang members. Lil E from 165, he was a gang member, but he was a hard pop locker. Like, incredible. Mm. Yeah, so, okay. after after all that, you know, the dress, and when the movie came out, then that's when the, the, um, the dress code changed. Gotcha. Because of the yeah. directors. Yeah, the uh, directors were going to the clubs and the new wave was coming in. Mm-hmm. New wave dress. And they started trying to dress like the new wavers. Mm-hmm. Like the pitch mode and all that. Yeah. With the spikes and, and yeah. So it changed. And then that was it. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, because yeah, majority of the pop lockers back then were affiliated with gangs. Okay. Yeah, that's some real history right there. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. We um. We recently lost. Well, let me ask you before I move on to that. Um, mm-hmm. Now you know. Now knowing that, um, did you guys? Did you personally ever have any issues like going to other neighborhoods and and battling? How did how how did it work back then? You know, that's what I'm. That's yeah. what I'm. Yeah, you couldn't go into other neighborhoods. Okay. That's what. That's what a gang. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, you you couldn't catch the RTD into another neighborhood and say, "I want to battle you, Bob Lockin." <laughs> You know, you, uh, they gonna look at you crazy, and they gonna rob you. Mm-hmm. Start popping you know. something else. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like that. Okay. That's why I say the movie changed the, you know, the mindset. It was never like that. You just got off. You wasn't in front of each other. One go in the middle, get off. Then the other one come out. It was just like that wasn't you know like beach street you know how they battling mm-hmm. and beach street was my favorite too yeah that movie was shit, man. oh man see the director more hip-hop feel did, did it right mm-hmm. he did it right yeah break into yeah. i'm looking at him wear pastels and shit and i'm like this just doesn't that's feel what right. I'm saying. <laughs> yeah yeah they they went they messed it up that's why everybody stopped doing it mm. That's why everybody stopped palm blocking. I said, I'm not dressing like that. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, that's when the drugs started rolling around that time. 85, 86. They, uh, people start selling drugs. Mm-hmm. You know, they were like, I ain't no pop lock. It was a few still did it, but that took over. Mm-hmm. And the gang banging came really strong because mm. now you're now you're dancing on corners that gang members are probably standing there and you're getting caught up in gunshots and- yeah yeah you had to either join the gang mm-hmm. all the way or you know you getting caught in the middle and it was done it was a done deal damn so you you would say that that drugs either selling or using and gangs probably ended the peak of pop locking and breaking. Yeah, in the movie. That's a cold game, man. Yeah, in mm-hmm. the movie. They wasn't dressed. You know, the dress code changed too, mm-hmm. along with the drugs. Right. The change and then, you know. And the movie, okay, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because they thought it was silly. Now, people didn't get a chance to see it back in the 70s and early 80s, mm-hmm. how it was. So all they have to go back to is the movie, mm-hmm. to, you know, for a reference. Nobody had a camera back then. The camera was like three thousand mm-hmm. dollars for a movie camera. It wasn't being filmed, and if you, they brought the film crew in the in the neighborhood, they were gonna get their stuff stolen. Mm. So nobody was being filmed. All these dope pop lockers back then. So all people have to do is go back to the movie one and two. That's to get a reference, hmm. you know, Damn. you only got a few videos like the Deuce in Venice, the Venice Shorelines on that video at Venice Beach. Okay, popping. It's a, it's a few, but not a lot. Yeah, 